Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your uh, July 2023 Life Sector Tarot reading with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. These are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. Check out all three so that you're aware of which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. And um, before we start, if you are a continued sub, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. And if you should so choose and this resonates, hit that subscribe button. Before we start, mind your business, Siri. <laughs> before we start, as always, I'd like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what is going on for you for the month of July. Can you believe we are already like in that second half of the year? You better be out here making it count, my dear Saggies. All right, so for your actions and plans, you've got the Two of Swords, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So first things first, what do we see? We see two twos. Two twos represents a bond, a pact, or an accord. Um, so this is like a forging of a partnership. So a lot of what you're focused on at the moment is working towards that end. However, there is something else in these cards as well. That Two of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles, when I first saw that, I was like, mm, okay. This is you seeking to right a wrong that has been off kilter or out of uh, shape in some way, shape or form in a partnership or a relationship for some time. This is, it's like maybe you've waited for a long time to hear an apology. Maybe you've waited a long time to give an apology for, you know, for some of you it will play out that way. Another way this potentially shows up as well is a partnership that you have been wanting to work on or maybe moving towards sort of fixing up or getting out there into the world in some way is now really seeking resolution. Um, it really does feel though for a lot of you like this is something that you've maybe you've had an experience with someone where you kind of just bit your tongue and said you know what now is not the time there will come a day where we can have this conversation where I can say my piece where I can you know ABC whatever it might be this suggests uh, for some of you this will be about burying a hatchet I really feel like part of this is probably because, I know I said there was no astrology in these, but I really feel like for a lot of you, a part of this is because of that Venus retrograde in Leo. Because it's in a fellow fire sign, it's offering harmonious energy to you. And so that retrograde is actually gonna help you mend a rift of some kind. So this could be a partnership, a bond, a pact, an accord. It could be personal, professional, or platonic. It doesn't have to be any one specific type. The fact that you've got the two of cups here though, this is either for, you know, for some of you, this might be somebody that you had a crush on or had a crush on you. It might be, uh, you know, somebody that you are or have been really close to, but are now in some way, shape or form kind of estranged from. For your uh, career and communications, you've got the queen of pentacles with the two of pentacles and the four of cups. I like this because it does suggest that across the board, when it comes to your professional or academic life or career, you are effectively approaching the elephant in the room, right? There's something here about quid pro quo. So if there's something that you feel like you need, some kind of support, some kind of request, etc., this is the time where it looks like a lot of you are going to be asking for it. Now, Sagis are very bold. You guys tend to say what you think, you think what you say, you say what you mean, you mean what you say. Well, most Sagis do. There are a few out there that are, sorry to say, but a little bit sneaky. And I really don't like that kind of, um, you know, it's like, just say it. Like, maybe that's me, right? Not everybody's like that. Not everybody is as subtle as a brick, um, right? But I would much rather someone just say to me, actually, Raph, I don't agree with that, or I do, or, um, you know what, it's gonna be a no from me, or it's gonna, do you know what I mean? I don't like any of that kind of, it's like school child tactics. I haven't got time for it. Anyway, ran over, soapbox moment uh, finished. For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this looks like potentially you're taking some kind of time out for your personal health. 
Um, and if this is the case, you will more than be able to make up for it. For a select few of you, it looks like potentially a financial worry or issue is what's become the barrier to your learning. You will find a way out of this, but it is gonna require you to speak up and really basically say what it is that you need. For those of you that are um, employed by somebody else, this could be the same kind of thing, but it's almost like you've, maybe for some of you, you've been sort of in and out of work due to sickness and or illness of some kind. And it's like now you're starting to get back to that even keel and paying more attention to yeah like paying more attention to yourself and what your needs are and it's almost like maybe you're being met with some kind of resentment or some kind of challenge address the elephant in the room right just say look you, you i mean you don't have to say this but you know what i mean something along the lines of i know i've had a lot of time off there is a specific reason for this here is that reason I'm intending to be sort of more focused, more present, etc. moving forward. But that doesn't mean that I don't deserve the support that everybody else would get, you know, if they took time off. Um, address the elephant in the room. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, this is effectively about you asking for what you need as opposed to kind of uh, intimating at it. Um, what I mean by this is, especially if it's like financial or some kind of recompense, this might be a time where maybe you're not happy with the results that you're getting. So this is the time to really kind of get clear on what it is that you desire, what it is that you need, right? Uh, and rather than just being clear on those things and kind of sitting on them, being open and vocal about them. For those of you that are retired and no longer working for any reason, enough. It's that tap on the head thing. It's been happening for the past eight days at this point, and it's like every single day, tap, 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 tap. It's usually one of my grandparents, uh, well, the grandparents that are currently in spirit anyway. Um, now, for, yeah, for those of you that are retired and no longer working, again, you could be addressing something here where maybe something feels unevenly or, or oddly stacked, right? Now, that Queen of Pentacles is usually a, an earth sign woman, a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. This could be you addressing the fact that there is someone in your midst that kind of always makes you feel like you're emotionally off kilter or puts you in a specific place or potentially even, you know, plays on the heartstrings to get money out of you. Um, this is a time to be, you know, really resolute. For your love and relations, you've got the Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles, okay, and the King of Swords. So for a select few of you, this may be a conversation with a partner, a significant other about money, finances, and resources. There's potentially here, uh, your partner is maybe making more money or maybe comes to you with an idea that they have that's going to take, you know, maybe they need to dip into the collective savings pot in order to start this thing. There's going to be a few conversations about why this is or isn't a good idea uh, or possibility or fit. I'm not saying either way, because to be honest with you, it looks like the conversation needs to be had anyway, because it's going to lead to a conversation about how you collectively utilize money. For those of you that are single, you could be connecting with an, earth, uh, an air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Um, I am going to say they're probably likely to be closer to that Gemini energy than they are anything else. And because they come up with the Six of Pentacles... This is somebody that really understands give or give and take very well and somebody who understands how to be balanced and fair. Because you've got this eight of pentacles here, it's likely that you're going to be meeting this person through your work or through your profession in some way, shape or form. Or maybe even a work colleague introduces you to a family member of theirs. For your money and materials, you have the nine of swords with the wheel of fortune. Okay, nice. With the three of wands. So there is some kind of financial advancement here, but there's a lot of worry around this, right? There's a lot of you really kind of getting into your head about the hypothesizing about the whole thing, when really the best way to do it would be to just do what Sagis do best, and that's to just jump straight in. Um, interestingly enough, you've got two Jupiterian influences here in your finance sector, 
which basically says if you are willing to do the bold thing and to get out there and maybe you know feel the fear and do it anyway as the saying goes you can make some really big advancements here for those of you that are planning to do something of an entrepreneurial kind of spirit this is actually a really good way for you to go. The only thing that I want you to be 100% clear on is the chances are this will not probably yield any fruit, certainly not that you would consider like real ripe fruit for a good, I wanna say like at least eight to 12 months. So if this is something that you're doing and it really does consider or factor in the long term, then go for it. If not, then it's not for you. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, for a lot of you, this is uh, a return to health. But for some of you, it looks like you're potentially having a bit of a scare here. All right. So this could be something that exacerbates really quickly. You know, it comes up really, really fast, especially for those of you that have had um, maybe like recurring illnesses or, or chronic illnesses in the past. This could be a flare up of something that comes back and it almost makes you think like, oh, no, no, no. You know, now's not the time for me to be getting sick like that again. I don't think this is that. I just do feel that it will be something that kind of goes like this and then it will kind of go back down. And then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, for some of you, this looks like a month of travel where you're kind of coming and going. Um, the other thing as well, you may be playing host to somebody that either suffers a breakup or goes through a really hard time. I will say this to you, it looks like this person is in some form of depression and it's likely to be because of a move that they've made or haven't made. So it's almost like they're either living in the past or they're living in the future and it's up to you to bring them to the present. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.